All right, let's start with some basic stuff. The first thing is that we have uh, three different types of lagoons by now from the 1.1 update. So you've got the Jurassic World, Jurassic um, Park styled and the research blah blah wildlife and so on um, styled one. So you've got three different styles. I'm just gonna rather quickly put them all down uh, so we have a good idea of how they look. Uh, hopefully I just click the right ones now. I'm not sure if I just messed up here. <laughs> uh, I think I did actually nail it, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's taken a while until it's done. So um, you can see that the first one build, um, they're just like subtle changes, but I would really um, enforce you to use the different styles. So you can see, yeah, they're very, very similar. Um, this one, you know, is a lot more concrete, while that one has like a darker, it's also concrete, but that one is like dark and having these typical Jurassic Park style things. And the other one is more like the research type Type of thing um which has also a kind of little uh, chain link whatever kind of fence um yeah no big difference um they all function the same they look the same and they have the same way uh, of doing it and um, they all have obviously a different styled lagoon hatchery and this is the first thing that differs quite immensely so we are just going to put all of these down as well just to show you and then we are already starting with some tips and tricks how you can make this all a little bit better uh, in terms of how it looks and what you do with it. Now let's put them all, uh, whoops, this is the wrong one. I need to have the, sorry, where's the lagoon one? There you go. Let's put it to the same side. So these are going to be built real quick and uh, we can talk about this. So you've got these three different types of lagoons and uh, surely they have no power because I don't have power everything turned on because I'm stupid. Um, but you can see they are also varying in size quite a bit. Well, one thing to notice is that um, whenever you put something to the sides, you can see the round shape is going to be changed into a bit of a cut and a bit more straight edge. And this is already the first tip that you want to use in order to make them look better. Um, you can just go into the tool, environment tool, and then go to the normal fish feeder. Don't go to the shark feeder, go to the fish feeder, because this one is barely noticeable. And you can see by using this one, you can straighten out the sides of the roundish face. Uh, for what it's worth, you can use it and make different shapes. So you can, for example, go in and make these things like so, for example, and then if you want to have uh, a complete different style looking like this you can always do it and then you can just basically do whatever you want with the different format but you can also clearly go in just delete this again and it's uh, starting to uh, get round again what you need to know um, otherwise is that unfortunately the hitbox stays the same so you can't really get super close with the pathway to it so if you want to build the pathway here uh, you gotta have to be very precise and going around you can see I'm already struggling here to find the right point. So it's actually a little bit of a of a bad thing because um, you can't get as close as with other things and uh, very obvious it's gonna be if you use that with foliage. You can see there's uh, really is starting to spare out exactly the edges. So just do it if you really want to have a different size, shape, whatever, um, because unfortunately these areas are spared out because usually there could be water, but that's just the first lesson. Let's quickly go and show you something else. Now, we're going to use this lagoon from now on. Let's go to Jurassic World, so I only have one, so I don't misclick all the time. Now, there are a couple of things you need to know. So if you put down a um, lagoon, it always has the same angle to snap to it. You can see this, this, or this. So it's basically 90 degrees, or it's not even 90, it's, I think it's like 30 degrees uh, in, in what it is, I guess it is, and then you can snap to it. So this forces you always into a similar type of shape, but you can also do something with this. And I'm gonna show you real quick, and we are switching over to another style lagoon, so you don't have the snapping, okay? That's very important. You can only do this with different types of lagoons, because if I'm going to use, now over here, I'm just going to show you this lagoon, it automatically snaps over here, and you don't want that, okay? You don't want to, to be snapping here you want to have another one that is going to be here so you have no snapping and you can easily get very close to it and now the very important bit is you want to alter the different connector pieces here and in order to do so you gotta have to watch these arrows around the circle very closely because if I rotate this and uh, I do actually have the angle snap toggled off because that gives me a lot more freedom you want to go into a direction where you have more connector points than only one okay so let's see we want to go for these two down there we're gonna do it like so and go 
as close as we can. Just click it down and now you can see it snaps again and um, you have this form for example. Um, you know, you can play around with this, but this always gives you a bit of a different um, way of making your lagoons appear a lot more interesting looking. So, for example, this one over here, we can now alter this again. So I want to have a rather nice form hugging around this one. So, I ah, okay, I was a bit, I was a bit wrong here, but you could also go and try to find another way around here. So, for example, like so. And this way, you are getting different um, variations in the rotation. And you can see this changes already how the lagoons appear in this game. Now, what you can always do is, if you want to ensure that in between it looks better, you can always try to put down the pathway first. So, you always have one path in between, but that's something I'm going to show you after this one so you have a better idea of how to do that without mods. Now you can see this is how the lagoons now uh, hug each other and they look a lot better and now you can do the same trick as we discussed earlier. You can utilize the fish feeder again and make some edges look different if you fancy doing so. So for example over here making like a little entrance and you could try to make that also like being a bit more you know whatever different looking for whatever you want to use that you know if you want to make that a habitat um, looking different you can always do so and then you can make like an, an inner island if you want you know there's like endless possibilities to to play from here because these different shapes always um you know give you the chance to do different things with it so you can also see here i'm just putting some of these down to alter the shapes and you know it mostly just works on the outside by the way but yeah you can see this is how you create these different ones and just imagine you put like a fence down i'm just going to quickly do this so you have an idea what i meant so for example here putting that down here and there you go you don't need one there but you need one here just putting that down and already you have got the habitat in the middle and it looks rather different and you have got the outside lagoon so that looks very cool indeed um, and you have the different lagoons in here so that was the kind of first lesson of that kind of science um, but now we're going to talk about the second lesson and that is using the path to your benefit so this is why we're going to go a bit more over here because we don't need that much space for that lesson so i'm just gonna go here and we're just gonna put this down can you connect here uh, unfortunately not but we are going to do it like so okay so this is the lagoon and now let's say you want to build another one rather closely below here um the problem is that you don't have enough path um, options to really go through but what you want to do is utilize this one over here you have to use the standard path that's the only one with which it works and now you use the smallest one okay so you're gonna not use the wide path and also not the main uh, through face you're gonna use the standard one and now what you want to do you want to find the best point in which you can build this and this is seems to be that one and from here this is a little bit of a you know tedious work you're gonna have to work yourself around here as close as you can and i really would recommend to try to do this with straight pieces okay you're gonna have to be very 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 precise um yeah again unfortunately it's a lot of work to do um but the result is actually really worth the effort you can also try to be yeah you gotta have to do it a little bit more careful than i do here <laughs> and do not go too close once you've found um a beginning like this you can use the you know um the circular option a little bit more like so and then you want to just hug that around so this is now we have built the path over here and now what you want to do as well is just bring this path as close as possible to here and now from here you go in a straight line okay now i've got that done this one and what you're going to do now is you build another lagoon on the other side and what you have to do obviously is to get as close as possible to the side of the path now i want to go really to the side here and i'm going to rotate this a little so that we have the option to connect another piece here Ah, that's not going to work because of the terrain. How unfortunate. I wanted to show you how that looks, but whatever. Okay, we're going to use it this way. What you want to do now is you go back to the path option and now you use the main one and you go to replace on. And now you can get a lot closer to the edges. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's not possible to get even closer than that. It's a little bit of a tedious thing to do, but this is the only way how you can get the path like super close. You can, you can just try to, you know, make it this way and then curl it in as much as you can. 
it's a bit unfortunate that you can't get closer to that, but this is the only way to get really close in between and then just, you know, um, do some do some little things to the sides. If you find some open spots, it's very hard to find some because, again, there is not really that much space to just, you know, make it good looking. And then you can also try to use a brush around to kind of, you know, do a little thing. And there you go. It's, you know, not the best thing ever, but at least it gives you the chance to build some almost concrete looking areas. Okay, one last thing we want to look into is um, height differences. I want to really, 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 really reinforce you using that. So what you want to do, build kind of a little hill like so. And the only thing you need to do now is take your lagoon and now you can already see what happens with my mouse. You can alter the height of this one. And what you want to do is really utilize that to your benefit. You can get creative with that. I really always try to utilize a little bit of an incline like this because then it gives me the chance to really alter it on a nice way. And I want to have it this height now. You can see it flattens the terrain over here, but it doesn't on this side. So from here, you can basically go on if you want to have like another step, for example, you just go in and flatten that thing out as well. And then you go back to the lagoon and you gonna you know try to bring this in here as well and you can already tell from this angle that I'm just going to be a little bit higher here than the other one is like a tiny tiny bit there you go and you can see that there is like a, a very very tiny difference in height um, and therefore you can really try to make some more interesting looking lagoon areas you know with different heights and stuff like that this is really something that I used quite a lot as well because now what you can do and you've potentially seen that in other videos as well. Um, it's a lot easier now to really build a path that is uh, somewhat close to this wall because it bends a little bit to the outside, you know, you can see that over here. And so the hitbox is not as complicated to find as like in the inside. This is also the main reason why you don't, um, you know, you don't have the chance to get even closer than here because technically the, the incline down there or like the little a wall that goes to the outside is still part of it just below ground so that's just how you want to do that and yeah this is how you can play around with your different styles and um you know um wait where the hell are my different fences why don't i have like other fences over here where are all the other fences gone they're gone I wanted to make like a concrete fence as like a backdrop here yeah just imagine it's there oh wait i know why this is why Oh, yeah, okay, well, that was, that was, I didn't know that this menu is also, okay, well, that's, that's stupid. Now, yeah, you can play around with stuff like that as well, you have got this backdrop, and what I also recommend is, and I didn't really pay attention to that, but you can then just have a brush and make sure that you put the wall a little bit further to the back than I did, because then you have some little foliage things in between the wall and the lagoon, and that always looks like kind of a nice little nature backdrop, uh, somewhat as it is on this side now. So yeah, a couple of little things you can do here, but the main thing is make sure to work with the different incline levels, because that really helps you out. So this is it um, about the unmodded stuff. Um, I won't go too much into detail with the buildings, because unfortunately, um, there's just not that much you can do other than uh, using the lagoon stands, obviously, as you can tell from over here, this always smooths that out. Um, and you can always use, you know, they also work. But the problem about these towers is, as you can see, with the viewing area, if you want to make it functioning, you have to go further back from these builds. I would recommend to, if you do that, do it this way. But that's just kind of a no-brainer and uh, yeah, not really a tip that you haven't heard of. So this is all I can sell, uh, sell, say, whatever. You guys know what I mean. I hope you guys found this helpful for the moment being. And now let's jump over into the modded part. All right, we are back now with the modded part. And before we start with the modded part, here are some uh, very important notes. First of all, everything we discussed in the unmodded part obviously applies also if you play with mods, only that there are a couple of things that are added to it. And also, second of all, to know which mods I'm using, it is basically just three simple mods. It's the uh, free build, the expanded sandbox, and the expanded terrain tools. I'm not using more than those mods. Um, in fact, you can also use most of it without even the expanded terrain mod, but there's one thing about the lagoons that you want to have it for. Now, let's start with a fresh set of uh, wonderful lagoons over here, shall we? Now, first of all, we're going to start with any type of lagoon. The good thing is, uh, 
uh, it's built directly, which is one of the biggest advantages of uh, the um, advanced terrain build, I guess it's which uh, brings that feature. Now, um, we've got this lagoon and there are a couple of things now that have changed. The first of all, building path around is a lot more easy simply because you don't have the restraints of what we had previously. So you can uh, now build very much alongside the lines of uh, the wonderful lagoon and that makes things look a lot better by default um, which I'm a big fan of uh, because this is how you can make that a lot more realistic but what we're going to do we're going to do some more fancy stuff than that okay because this is whatever you uh, would experience uh, expect over here but we are going to go and change the view of a lagoon so first of all we're going to show the view and we're going to lower the stand now this is very important because that's the first thing we're going to work on right now. One of the major complaints um, is that this looks very boring after a while. I'm gonna, um keep this here. You can see there's not really much going on over here. Uh, in fact, this is just the vastness of the Blue Lagoon and you basically have no real point of interest or anything to look at other than eventually the dinosaur that swims around. Now, um, to change that, there is a pretty good way of doing this with these mods because they allow you to put something in the water being rocks, for example. So you can see we can place some rocks down here. So now they're obviously floating in the middle of nowhere, but what you can do, and this is pretty sick, it's actually very cool, and I just recently discovered that and it just really confused me to why it works, but here you go. It actually works pretty beautifully. You can lower down these rocks quite nicely. So uh, you can see I'm just lowering down everything here, but the cool bit is it, it just doesn't really change anything other than the um, terrain. Well, technically it doesn't even change the terrain as you can see, it's just like a customization thing. So what you can do, you can now go and um, basically let's just keep the radius rather small and you lower that down as much as you can and you can also go into this mode now. Oops, this was uh, not intended. You're gonna have to always use this. You can't, unfortunately, if you use uh, flattened terrain, it will always use the top spot because that's where the um, lagoon is. So you gotta have to work yourself with uh, this lowering tool. Now, as you lower that, you can see this is um, how it turns out to be looking and now if we go into the view you can see these rocks unfortunately they are floating in midair this is something you unfortunately can't really uh, get rid of um, I tried several things um, in terms of you know you could technically bring the lagoon higher but this just doesn't really work um, to make it lower but this is already the way you can work with it and make it look better now speaking of look better you can then um, pretty much go in and put any type of rock into it with it making it look a bit more interesting just have a lot more rocks in there just like that and then you can even go to decorations search for one and you can bring this decoration in to just get some foliage if you want so a couple of these things um now let's go back into the stand and show you the view and there you go this looks already pretty different now if you keep your camera to that angle it looks almost like as if this is a ground and uh in, especially from above it looks pretty cool because you can't really see the ground and so you can make this all look better Really good trick from my side to make that a lot more easy for you is bring it all up to the highest point and uh, keep building on this level because that way you can you can make some really nice looking things without uh, spending too much time looking uh, underwater which you can't really do. So uh, what you want to do is really get in here, make as much as you want, you know, build it just around here, just get some cool looking uh, rock stuff in, you know, just make your way go through. There you go, just building a couple of things here, just as if this is like a lagoon, um, having some, I don't know, rocky things in, whatever. Just like so, you know, just giving that a bit of a nice feel. And then you can, obviously I'm, I'm also always tempted to use the bigger boulders because the lagoons are quite gigantic, so that makes sense. Um, and yeah, here you go. This is how you do that. This is how you bring these things in. Now, there are a couple more things we're going to discuss, but this is what I wanted to do over here. So we're gonna have this lagoon and now you can just go back to um, your landscaping and then just bring it all down. Just do it that way. There you go. This is it. It's down 
and now you could go back into the viewing and you've got that view even with some subtleties here in the background so that looks kind of neat and uh, you've got this wonderful underground view now there are a couple more things you can do with this extended mod uh, because obviously you can put whatever you want in the center of your lagoon because basically you can put buildings wherever you want and um, yeah the fun part is the same rule applies to the other buildings as well now i'm just going to try to put this down and there you can see it. You even have this research center underground. This is so funny. It's like actually hilarious. Um, you can see the view and uh, it's making some very fancy things down here in the back. But um, you've got the research center now sunken. Um, this apparently is a big building. But what you can do, um, you can work the same way with some smaller buildings. You can just search for whatever you want to put in and then uh, make it look like a sunken hotel, for example, you know, just barely kind of pops out um, you can basically have uh, your monorail station sunk down quite a lot more which for whatever reason want to do this but I found the idea kind of nice to have like a tunnel so you can you can just kind of dig that down here look at that so it almost looks like that you have like an underwater tunnel going in um, so that you have like an underwater or whatever um, and then you can also go and basically fake that if you will you could use that one this one uh, work kind of fine for me to kind of fake a tunnel. Um, you could also do that with some viewing things. I'm not sure which one I used lately. Um, blah, blah, blah. Wait, viewing. Yeah, I used that one, the aviary viewing. Or you can also use the research one. This is a little bit thinner. But I thought the attraction looked the best because it's actually rather small. Um, the gyrosphere is even smaller. Um, and yeah, you can even make like an underground gyrosphere apparently, which is also fun because it even works. Um, as you could just kind of connect this rather nicely here. I'm just going to do it that way. And so let me just see. There you go. Again, as I said, you can you can all put this together and raise the ground. Um, unfortunately, in this case, you can't raise the ground beforehand. You have to do it um, uh, afterwards. You have to do it beforehand. Um, and you can just do whatever you want with the pathway, by the way, because it's invisible on the ground. So it just doesn't change a thing. But um, the same applies for the gyrosphere. And you can just go... Oops, uh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to quickly connect the build here and now you can just make the gyrosphere go through your um, lagoon which is kind of fun to be honest it's it's really funny that this actually works um, and yeah I mean for whatever it's worth but you can you can just do that and then you have uh, no path obviously because you have to connect the monorail first let's quickly do this and just uh, hello I want to build this there you go I'm just gonna build this out of here. Where's the rival point? There's the rival point. I'm just gonna bring this all over here. And yeah, uh, apparently with uh, this mod, you can do several things as well. Um, I'm gonna just put this, well, well, that one. I think this one is nice. This one is a bit nicer. Just put that one here. There you go. And then we're oh, just going to edit. Uh, wait, this is the rival point. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I did not want to do this. Yes, yes, go away. Go away, I want to build a monorail. Um, you just quick that. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna quickly do this. Here goes the station. And we're just gonna connect this here. And yeah, so this is basically how you would do this. I just wanted to rather quickly do it. Um, so we can actually access the gyrosphere real quick. So there you go. And we can drive the gyrosphere. And apparently, you can drive on the ground on this <laughs> lagoon now. It's so funny, actually, that this works, but, um, yeah, we have this wonderful gyrosphere underground uh, experience now. And if you've got a mosasaur or something swimming in here, um, that's apparently looking kind of, kind of funny as well. Um, but you can also just, you know, join the, um, the normal tour if you want. But this one is not operating right now uh, because it's, well, actually, unfortunately, it's uh, invisible, but... Um, yeah, this is how you can get a gyrosphere down here. It's it's rather funny though. Um, but there are more things that we can do, and this is making the lagoon look different by just changing the outer shape. And with the mods, it's a lot more easy because you can do several things in order to make the um, the form factor different. Now I'm gonna do this with the large hotel first. I'm just gonna click and bring this in here. And I'm just gonna use a second large hotel just to join this one 
There you go, just to make that different. You will notice that there is unfortunately a little bit of a um, outer line that looks a bit weird and floaty. There's a solution to that. You can use the decoration pieces. I always use that one over here, but you could also use one of those. Um, or also a good one is the classic light. But I'm gonna go with the, um, let's say the rock planter bee. And as you can see over here, the good thing about this one is, it comes with a concrete foundation which looks as if it is going into the water. So that is mostly enough to cover these ugly corners away. As you can see here, we're just doing some kind of nice stuff and then just, you know, follow follow the line of the hotel to just make that a little bit more nice looking. You're not going to do something crazy. You're not going to do something uh, outstanding here, but it's it's just very subtle. It's a subtle little detail and it makes uh, the whole lagoon already appear different also with like the reflection in here. And um, obviously what you can also do, you can uh, mix and match different lagoon stands. Um, they will connect, but you can also just go and have them uh, closer to each other if you just move it carefully like so you can actually get a lot more into the other one if you want so apparently that's a good way of uh, making things look nice as well so you know you're just gonna do this and you can now have another one just like here to the to the side just make sure that you just get it very neatly aligned so another one here the problem always is that this one since it's not connected um, looks a bit weird if you go inside, you know, if you show the view and you lower that one um, It's gonna look weird because um, it's gonna crash through some concrete and stuff and then well apparently down here It looks fine to me, but um, Yeah, you've got some walls and stuff in between so be careful with that, but you can always mix something else in I tend to do this that I put like a um, Tower in the middle simply because it has the same style and then it looks uh, rather nicely and you can Again, same same trick applies. You can use something like this to make the cut look better. There you go. I'm not paying too much attention to that, but all right. So you have got a, a lot better looking lagoon like this. So there are so, so many things that you can do with this. Um, obviously I could have put the monorail station somewhere else as well, but it almost looks like as if this is going to go down. Now, a couple more things we want to discuss. You can also have like a little bit of a planter area. Again, unfortunately, as you will notice in a bit, we can't get plants inside, which is a pity. I wish I could have put like a little like island in the middle, you know, um, where you have some stuff, but you still have to do the island the same way in just deleting some of the stuff here and then uh, put the island there. But you can fake it. You can go in and you can use um, flatten tool here. Just gonna move that in so we have a bit more of a higher ground here unfortunately you can't also rise this this would have been nice as well to make like a little area but you can't um but what you can obviously do use the decoration to your favor so you can make something i'm just gonna do this again very briefly so you get an idea of what i meant so you can just do something like this and then oops wrong button um you can go in with some other foliage like that just like frame it a bit here goes and then um, whatever you whatever you find in here as like a good plant you can use you can also use this one over here um, like so and then what I tend to do in order to make that look a little bit better is I'm just gonna go and use some rocks to cover up the ground in between so that it almost looks like as if there is stuff growing from these rocks you know other than um, having you know something weird looking uh, with all these planters in um, so obviously that is not like the perfect solution to everything but it uh, will help you to have like a nice looking um, planter in your wonderful lagoon so yeah, just kind of trying to make everything pop a little bit by putting things like so and you've got this floaty little island here in the middle uh, that looks almost like as if some cacti and stuff is growing on it. Again, it's not like the most beautiful thing in the world that you've ever seen, but it uh, makes the whole lagoon appear a lot more different. Now, you can just extend what we've talked about so, so much. You can now go in and uh, whatever, you know, you want to have like an aviary above it, uh, you can do so. You can just have like this thing, you know, like almost um, a little bit of a viewing stuff like so and just plop it there there you go you've got a you've got an aviary in the middle 
Now, obviously, this is something I would not really recommend. I destroyed the track. Whatever. Um, <laughs> and you can, yeah, just do so, so many things. You can have like a tower lurking out of it, um, almost like a feeding tower or something. So you could put that here. And speaking of feeding, you can, huh, that's also kind of nice. You can obviously um, also put the shark feeder everywhere you want. Uh, but beware, it is always going to have the same terrain height. So I would always recommend to put this somewhere uh, where it's sticking out of the water rather than not. So you can put this here if you want. So this will then have the right height. But um, yeah, apart from that, I think you guys got the idea. Um, with mods, you basically can do a lot more things and you can get creative by utilizing the tools in a way that the lagoon is getting a look that is a lot more different from yeah what you can do without mods unfortunately but this is a way um to get the lagoons a lot more uh, involved and integrated into your builds and uh you know having some towers perking through here or lurking out um having having a monorail go in as if you have like a tunnel using this to you know drive the gyrosphere also by the way where is the where is it to connect? I, you know, this is also a problem. You basically can't see where the track goes. So I just destroyed it now. And yeah, well, I think I will never ever find it again. I can also build like a new one, right? Just like if I fancy doing so. Um. Yeah, well, I gotta have to build a new one, I guess. <laughs> so that's uh, about it. Uh, yeah, beware of building a gyrosphere track, I guess. Can I just delete the whole thing now? Oh yeah, I can. Good, good stuff. Now, just to sum it up, guys, um, this was a little tutorial which got a little more longer, but I hope you enjoy the detail in it. Um, how to make better lagoons without mods, you have to get a bit more creative. Um, but with mods, you can basically let your creativity run wild because there is nearly no limit. You can do whatever you want and you can make it look good and you can make uh, different things go inside of a lagoon. And I can't wait to see what people actually did with the lagoons when they are done. So much so far. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good weekend. Until the next one, and goodbye.